Welcome to the first free MoneyMaker Pro video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic setup of Google Tag Manager and I'll explain a bit about why that's good for you uh, or your business as we go. So let's get started. go to tagmanager.google.com you will need to create an account that is associated with a Gmail account or an email address that you've set up through um, Google Apps if you're using Google Apps email here you can see I have several accounts going on some are mine some are customers that I manage and let's go through the setup process. Create an account. It will ask you to set up and give your company name and ask you to set up a container. It's best to describe a container as a kind of virtual box into which you drop various bits of code which have various different rules. That's all you need to know really. If you want to share data with Google for any reason you can take that box. Anyway, then go to create your account. I don't need a new account, so I'm just going to go into my existing account. Now, when you create an account and create a container, it will be empty, this container. And within this container, you need to put some tags. You can see here that we're in the container that we created. And if I go to my tags, you will see I have two tags set up already. Universal Analytics, uh, which does a few different things for me. And Google Analytics, as well as remarketing. And um, so that's really handy. Um, it can also you, be used to get AdWords data if you've got your AdWords and Analytics accounts talking to each other, uh, which is done through the uh, Google uh, console, Analytics console, I believe. And um, I have Google Plus Review, which is a bit of code that goes on, on my pages, um, which uh, allows me to embed uh, reviews from Google Plus in the page uh, with some styling um, if um, I want to. And I, on some pages of my website, I do. And that is part of my strategy to convert visitors to business by um, showing my reviews. You will have no tags, so you would want to set a new tag up. As you can see here, there are lots of options. You will notice that Facebook is not one of them. For Facebook, you would need to configure a custom tag, and the custom option allows you to basically set up any kind of tag which you can't see here. Um, you can see Google AdWords has its own tag. Maybe you'd need that if you were not also using analytics or for some reason you wanted to set them separately. Um, there may be some technical reasons why you would do that. And there are other various tags. So as a basic setup, let's start with the Google Analytics. <coughs> Most people like to use that. It's not the only platform for analytics, but it is uh, got a lot of data that's useful and it is free. Go to Google Analytics. Um, you have an option of two types of tag, universal or classic. I would avoid classic. I think it will be phased out soon and it doesn't have the features of universal analytics um, but does a similar job. So I just don't see it has any need. So I would go universal analytics every time and then you will need your tracking ID which you need to get from your Google Analytics account. I have already logged into my Google Analytics account. There's a various um, list of businesses that I uh, mine or I help manage. And here is a UA number. This is the um, code that we want. We copy this number without the brackets. <coughs> and paste that into this tracking ID box. I would probably tick display advertising features if you want to do remarketing. You don't have to use them, but at least you don't need to remember to go back and turn them on later if you decide to do something like remarketing, display advertising. 
uh, page view is the sort of uh, tracking type we want and at the moment there's no need to play with these advanced settings and more settings I'm just going to leave those be. Um, what we do need though is then before we find, can finish is to decide uh, a rule for when the, uh, or which pages the uh, this tag we're creating will fire on um, and in this case we want all pages. You can have multiple choices um, for example and um, when, uh, if you wanted one specific page, maybe uh, as part of goal tracking, uh, that might be necessary. Um, you know, that's easily achievable. And this wizard um, at the end, don't forget to click create tag. I'm not going to because I already have this. Um, this process uh, effectively writes the bit of code um, for you and puts it in the right place of the website for you once you have set up. Um, tag manager in your website, which we will deal with in a second. So I'm going to come out of here, discard these changes. I don't need them, but you will need to complete the process maybe if you're working along with me as we go. And um, in the admin section, um, you will see an install Google Tag Manager section where it gives you a bit of code which you need to copy all of if you're going to install it with this code. Uh, and then here it tells you where to put it in your website. <coughs> it just so happens I'm logged into my website. Uh, this is a WordPress website. This is what um, the WordPress console looks like if you have never seen it before. And um, I'm in the appearance editor. I'll start from this process. I use a child theme, so to get to the file I need, I need to click to go to the parent theme. So if you want to do it the code way, um, it's maybe sometimes good to not rely on uh, plugins so much because they can uh, build up and slow your website down, but I imagine the plugin required in this case is pretty lightweight and shouldn't really slow down your site. But anyway, um, you will have a file called header PHP and you need to, it, it's of a name, mine's called theme header, they can vary depending on your theme. But in the theme header, this is where you would place that code and you would look for the opening body tag, which I can see is there. <coughs> and um, I want to show you another way of doing this. Uh, I actually do use the uh, plugin at the moment. <coughs> Uh, and this plugin is called Google Tag Manager and does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, it actually just gives me a simple option in my general WordPress settings. If I scroll down, you can see here it asks me for my Google Tag Manager ID, and that is actually this GTM number, which you should copy and paste in. And if you do that, Google Analytics, uh, or either method, Google Analytics will be uh, applied to, uh, sorry, Tag Manager will, code will be applied to all your pages um, that exist now and the ones that you create in the future, meaning you don't need to keep adding tracking code for new pages, which is great. And that is a basic setup of Google Tag Manager. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of our other videos or services, it's moneymakerpro.co.uk. And uh, I'll see you next time.